how this OBD scanner saved me 3,500 bucks coming right up. Today we're at Mannheim for five grand Fridays. So typically most cars go under five grand. It's the Friday where most of the cars a little, got quite a bit of mileage, a little bit older. On Wednesdays is when they have the newer vehicles, the more expensive vehicles. Every once in a while on Friday, you can find a little gem here because you never know another man's junk is another man's treasure, right? So today we're hoping to pick up a couple treasures, flip them real quick, hopefully get into something that's not too much maintenance required. So if you haven't already hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell, please do so. Once again, we got thousands and thousands of cars. All right, without further ado, let's get into this. We have a 2009 Mini Cooper that I've been wanting to take a look at. So far, it doesn't look too bad. Got a little dent right about there, if you can see that dent. The tire tread looks not bad. So far, the car looks kind of clean. Trunk looks a little dirty, looks like they had a dog, a bunch of dog hair in here. That doesn't look too bad if I can clean it up, get a detail. What you guys are all thinking, Mini Coopers don't last, right? You never know, it looks clean though. It's got the leather interior. Got a nice dashboard, nice frame. The interior looks Phenomenal. The leather seats are all good. No tears. The dashboard looks good. Let's spark it up. See how it does. Okay, so we're inside the Mini Cooper. This is the little key fob. You got to stick in the key in here. And then, all right, start it up right away. Right, we got a check engine light. Check engine light, it's got 119,000 miles. 118,000, so, I don't know. So far, it doesn't sound too bad. But we gotta check those codes, see what the check engine light is. But other than that, right now it's clean. I'm gonna pop the hood in a minute, see what it looks like. So why did I not pop the trunk on that 2009 Mini Cooper? It's because of this guy right here, this little OBD scanner, which is Bluetooth, it saved me. And the reason why the video cut out is because I was using my cell phone to record the video, but when I needed to check what all those check engine light codes were, it was showing me some very disturbing check engine light codes. There was transmission, there was camshaft, there was chassis, there was the gas cap, there was a ton of different check engine lights that worried me that it wasn't worth it. Like I said, I got it come from the abundance mindset. There's thousands of cars that come through Mannheim every week. So why am I going to risk getting a vehicle with a transmission check engine light? So that's why I did not pop the trunk or the hood on that Mini Cooper. It's because this little guy saved me. And you're probably sitting there, well, Mannheim or Odessa, or you know IAA or Copart, you're not allowed to bring in an OBD scanner, and that's exactly the reason why I don't have a big old you know mechanic sized. I got the Bluetooth that syncs up to my cell phone. It's very small and discreet. I could put it in my pocket when uh, I pop it in real quick at, on any vehicle at any of the auctions. It tells me right there on my cell phone exactly what check engine light codes mean. And then I, from there, will determine whether it's worth putting a bid on it or, you know, um, walking away. And like I said, if you're coming from that scarcity mindset that, you know, ah, oh, that's a great deal, it looks great on the outside, then that's where you're going to screw yourself. So that, this little guy right here saved me 3,500 bucks because that's exactly how much that vehicle sold for. And I was very, very interested in bidding on it. And most likely I was going to buy it because what I was going to do with that vehicle, I was going to list it on Turo, which is the peer to peer sharing platform where I could rent out my vehicle. And those cars do very well on Turo. But this, like I said, this thing saved me from making a bid because of all those check engine lights. So check out this video. If you're interested in picking up one of these, like I said, they're very small and discreet. You could put them in your pocket when, um, you know, at any auction, 
you uh, plug it in and it'll sync up to your cell phone. It'll tell you all the check engine codes and what they mean. And that way you're not getting popped by Mannheim or Odessa or IAA or Copart or any of the places. If you're interested in that, check out my description. I have a link, an affiliate link. I may get a small commission. It's not going to allow me to quit my day job or anything like that, but it's no extra cost to you. So check out a quick video from Blue Driver. I'm not getting, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just uh, letting you know that this is something I use and it has definitely saved me money. So check it out and drop me a comment. Let me know if uh, what uh, OBD scanner you use. Why should you use Blue Driver? Because it turns your smartphone or tablet into a powerful yet affordable professional OBD2 scan tool that lets you scan and understand your vehicles. Blue Driver is the tool professionals use to save time and money. When you scan your vehicle with Blue Driver, not only will you get the trouble codes, but you'll get a list of all the possible causes and reported fixes. Blue Driver is simple to use and pair it with your device via Bluetooth. That's it. You've got everything you need and there's nothing extra to buy, ever. See how easy it is to scan and read the trouble codes? Then when the issue is fixed, use Blue Driver to turn the check engine light off. With Blue Driver, you can view live data of your vehicle's engine, charging and cooling systems. Check to see if you'll pass the smog check. You can also perform enhanced diagnostics and read and clear airbag, transmission, ABS, and other module codes. All right, hit that like, comment, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it.